Hey guys, before I start episode 11 of Pokemon Emerald, I'd like to take some time to talk about episode 10. As you all may know, in Sugar Conroy's episode 30 of Pokemon Emerald, his playthrough, um, my vi this video, episode 10, was mentioned in the suggested videos list, which was amazing because I got a crap ton of views from that, and without that I'd probably have like 50 views within one day. Um, now, I'd like to thank D-Pad Gamer for informing me very early about this. Without him, I probably would not have checked episode 30, and without that, I probably would have freaked out a little bit less. <laughs> but along with that, I got some comments saying that I sound like Shuka Conroy, that I'm a big Shuka fan, which those I only say don't mind. But there was one comment that really disturbed me. That it was from some guy saying I was a complete Shuka Conroy ripoff. Just because I have three of his teammates. Okay, first off, let's compare my first e episode of Pokemon Emerald to his first episode of Pokemon Emerald. Okay, starting at mine, I started my first episode of Pokemon Emerald on August 19th, 2011. That's when I uploaded it. Now let's take a look at Sugar's first episode of Pokemon Emerald. As you can see on the date, January 15th, 2012, five months after my first episode of Pokemon Emerald premiered. That means I first used Combusken, Vigoroth, and Lumbre combined together. However, Shuka Conroy made it a lot more popular. Now, I understand that you're trying to support Shuka Conroy, your favorite Let's Player, but if you're going to do it against me and call me a ripoff, please get your facts straight before you make a complaint. Because if you don't, don't, I can and will nerd down on you. Because me and probably a bunch of my subscribers that have seen all my videos way before you guys have appeared know this channel way longer than you have. No offense to any of you people who um, are currently watching this or have watched episode 10. It's just personal opinion. And I'm surprised no one complained about me insulting Shofu. Because I did its grunt. I guess the people of Shofu don't care. Anyways, that's my complaints. On with the video! Hey guys, this is Heart Ghost with Silver 1994. And if you're wondering why I'm here, um, there's a little something I need to show you guys. You head to any Pokemon, and you fill out this thing. It's a questionnaire, fill it out. And you put in, uh, I tried doing this before, but if you put in together, let's just go through L. Let's see. L. Link. Uh, those of you who have to have done this before, you may recognize what this is. But for those of you who don't know, you're gonna be amazed by what this reaction is. Um, I know there's a way you can just do it, but I'd rather prefer doing this way, just in case I miss it. Okay, there we go. And A. A lot. <laughs> no! Okay, so this is what you need linked together with all. This is in case you're doing an event. And this guy says, Oh, hello! You know those words? That means you must know about the mystery gift. From now on, you should be receiving mystery gifts. Once you save your game, you can ask this mystery gift. Uh, basically, mystery gift, once you've done that, basically, mystery gift will allow you to, um, get exclusive events with this game. This is this was required if you wanted to get special events. Uh, speaking of which, I might be doing special events, like, in probably later episodes. You guys can let me know if you guys would like that. However, some of these will be, well, well, most of them will be blind since I've never done them before. But with that in mind, let's go ahead and head back to where we originally were before I decided to do all that. Oh, and I trained, um, uh, all... Um, I trained off-screen. And speaking of which, I'll be right back. I need to do something very, very important. Okie dokie, so I'm back, and the important thing I had to do was get rid of one move for Combuskin. Uh, remember that plays, and remember that I said most of our moves for the team were pointless? I was wrong. I replaced Gretch with Focus Energy since I believe that was a lot better. However, I'm still going to be keeping uh, most of the moves um, on some equipped on the team cause, just because there are a couple things that we need to do. I mean, uh, we can't get yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like stuttering so much. Or trying to actually make sense, but anyways. This is the cable car. The cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Uh, normally in the cable cars, it was originally blocked by Team Magma because 
um, they're idiots. You know what the lady fish is hiding, like, underneath the desk? <laughs> I bet they're trying to get her, like, a free lift or something. It's like, you know we're just gonna go in and wrap anyway. She doesn't say anything back, like, please take care of what's happening. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. I think there was a cookie in here or something. Nope, never mind. A cookie, I'm in an item! <laughs> But this is Mount Chimney. This is the top of the mountain that we went through via chairlift. There we go. I almost said ski lift. Um, now I believe there are some hidden items in here. You know what that means? Our handy dandy. Oh, don't ask how I got the ice beam TM. Item finder. Nope, there's no response. So much for a handy dandy item finder. Let's talk to him. Durr, like I should have guessed you showed up. For, see for yourself the fr the fanatic steam magmas are up to. They're trying to inject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause a volcano's eruption. And that would mean the end of 22. <laughs> I love how that Putian is faster than all of them. <laughs> it's just like so Putian. <laughs> that is just completely hilarious. Yes, yeah, so we can pack pass through these guys. And okay, that's just pointless. It's Putian on Putiana! Pugiana War 1! <laughs> okay, now we uh, have some separate Aqua Grunts. Luckily, there's only three of them, unless, of course, I'm mistaken, and there's like four. But, a couple battles, not bad. I will be speeding through these, because they're very, very important. So, let's get into speeding up, right? Since these intros. I love the Aqua Simple. Alright, so, each day got a Zubat and a Numble. I'm gonna be seeing out Skrillex! And Lumbre, let's see. I can, yeah, let's fake up and then we'll. Numble's pointless! Ah! Good thing I'm actually speeding this up, otherwise, oh my god, okay. Alrighty. That's. That almost did something. Okay, there we go. Now he finally attacks, and that takes care of Numble. Magnitude 9 doesn't affect Skrillex, and it's not gonna do that much. Ha! <laughs> you don't know your strategies! Come with me, and you will live. <laughs> Wow, Zora didn't do that much. I am starting to get pissed, because him hurting himself is going to be a huge problem. Okay, there we go. I'll go to the rescue, and we need to swap things around. Oh, speaking of which, I have to teach Lumbery that ice beam I got him. Don't ask again, it's the left plane secret that I did not want to spoil in Fire Red. I think I really got an ice beam? <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> Absorb or Astonish. I want to keep nature power, so let's get rid of Astonish. Astonish, honestly, is not the best move, even if it is physical. And I'm probably going to be keeping uh, Fake Out just because it would looks really good on any Pokemon. I mean, yeah, it's good. Uh, now we got this Grunt right here. Again, I'm going to be spinning it up, but first... I got some soda pops left! whoop de doo I need that. Oh, I need to also put uh, Curlia right... Actually, Lazy needs to be put up front. And then a Zigzagoon, since these are slight... Wait! What did he pick up? What do you see? And oh! <laughs> Ultra Bowl has a really, really higher rate of catch than a Great Ball, so that's great we got it! <laughs> Talk to him. <laughs> so you come all the way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered the meteorite from the meter falls to the bus. Insert evil lap here. Yeah, I should probably speed this one enough since, of course. Oh, I'm gonna be really unprofessional for this episode and speed things out just because I can. Let's see, no, we don't get a flinch. What is the accuracy of a flinch? I, we got paralysis before, we got poison before. Well, uh, if you go into the grass, it's poison, I should tell. Uh, secret power, depending on where you are. For example, we are in the rocks. I mean, the mountains. Oh, you got confusion. Oh, I thought it was something else. Oh, well, you're almost dead. Bye-bye. <laughs> Poochiana, cool. We can actually... Yep, yeah, watch. <laughs> I did not mean to go to the bag. Oh, there's a crit on stealing a uh, Zubat. Dad, I'm actually going to be using Ash Bear for since Skarmory is getting all the experience and I feel bad. Let's psychic this thing and hope it kills! Of course it's going to kill. Zubats have like the weakest defense. Then again, it's the most common Pokemon and the most common things are always weak. So, 
I guess that's good in some way. And we defeated Tabitha! That's a... That's a... Wait, tell me this guy. <laughs> Even though I lost, our leader awakens from blah 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 blah. That's not a girl! What is the name Tabitha? I don't know, are you trying to confuse us? This thing just a neighbor's a... Ah, screw it. Have you talked to this meteorite? A meteorite is fitted into a mysterious machine. The machine seems to be storing energy in the meteorite. Now we talk to Max. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. This energy will grow deep inside the crater and... Hmm, who are you? I heard Archie can be moaning a child who's been meddling by anti Magos of Harris. It must be you, he meant. Humph, so you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now, you listen. Long ago, living things used is the land to live and grow. Wrong! Actually, in most of the times, it was bacteria, and then long ago, there was water, so... <laughs> Mainly, Tiamat was right. But later on, dinosaurs came around and blah blah blah. I'm not boring you guys with history, I gotta stop. <laughs> that's why the land is all important. It is the cradle of all. And that's why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the land mass. It is for further achievement of humankind and Pokémon. So wait, you're trying to get rid of Gyaradosis and Wailor so that we can make more... Land Pokemon appear like Camera Rapid Kaboters. You sick man! Don't you know that 70% of the water so good luck? Also, yeah, if you get rid of all the water, what are we gonna drink? Coke? <laughs> and for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there's no need for you to, to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of mantling our grand design. And we battle him! whoop freaking do And he has some pretty weak Pokémon, don't believe me. He's got three of them, so his first Pokémon is a mighty- oh my god, really. Oh, this is gonna be a huge problem since, of course, I didn't prepare, except I got some Super Potions and stuff, but other than that, I don't think Skrillex is good enough for- Okay, good thing for Kenai! If it had not been for Kenai, I probably would've been screwed! Oh, nice, we got our defense boosted! Um... Let me see if I can confuse with secret path. What is it doing? It never swapped when I play this a couple times. What? Why now? Is he joking? You you guys saw that, right? And I'm not crazy. Ugh. No, two play two can play this game. I see how it is. Magma armor, okay. Magnitude, magnitude five. I swapped in through a magnitude? If I had known that, I would have just stayed in. Oh my god, but anyway, his camera up is kind of annoying. You saw what you saw right there, he had magnitude, and pretty sure he has Emperor. And, okay, one magnitude over. That's not bad, actually. However, that is bad. Just, oh my god, okay. Um, on the plus side, I got four more. The bad news is, uh, I need to heal with us, so. Go! Zigzagoon! You're gonna be my slave. And what are you holding? Hold on, I gotta see what he's holding. He's holding... the potion. Screw you. You can die! <laughs> no joke, you can! Uh, luckily we got that revive from the last episode, or... Yeah, I think it's the last episode. There you go, and... what is the camera gonna be? Oh, now it uses a weak move! I was expecting another magnitude, but no! It had to go for a really smart move this time. And with that, um, let's see. We'll see how much Psychic does and it doesn't kill, we're screwed, because that was my only revive! Okay, good. At least this camera up is down. Skrillex gets... Well, we're gonna even him out today. Uh, Zubat. Skrillex does not deserve to beat that guy up. <laughs> he only beat one of them. <laughs> That's about it. So we're gonna have Ash Bear take care of that other Zubat. That Zubat is down here. <sighs> okay, Mightyena, the final Pokemon. Okay, now Skrillex comes in and hopefully saves the day, right? I'm gonna think of Kenai because, well, I really wish I had like a Hyper Color. I wish Skarmory actually could learn Hyper Color because. Uh, like its accuracy, its attack is pretty important too. I mean, it's pretty bulky Pokemon, as I said before. 
Okay, I see where we're going with this. Make the steel type flinch. I see how it is. Yeah, even with the intimidate, steel is actually doing pretty much a chunkful. Critical hit, and good, and we hit again. I thought we would miss. I would have been pissed, and I would have just said, you know. Yeah! <laughs> Skrillex has proved himself to be an official team member! Way to go, Skrillex! <laughs> that is impressive. What? I actually was caught off guard? And we get 2,000 bucks. Way to be cheap. But enough. But enough. I will back off this time. But I don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. Ho ho ho! Even without the meteorite, if we obtain that orb, ho ho ho! And you. Wait, thank you! With your help, we thwart our team Magma's destructive plan. But you? Whose side are you on? Ah, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Like, we shall meet again. Promise we will battle, right? Okay, um, I believe after you've done all that, there might be a lady that tells you something. Yep, right here. Talk to her. So I have a cookie. Your Mount Seventy's local specialty. Try one. It's just two hundred bucks. Okay. First off, why did you buy a cookie that's made out of earthly stuff? I mean, that that makes absolute no sense. And don't ask. I got seventy thousand dollars. I've been saving up a lot. Uh, lava cookie. It's the same thing as full heal. Only it's a lot more cheaper, probably. Um, it heals all the status problems, so uh, if you need like a couple of them, I highly recommend you get these. Uh, they're the same conditions, however, um, it's the same thing. So, before we head on to the new city, oh gosh, oh good thing I have the acro bike. Uh, let's get that out right now, since of course I do not want to make this over 15 minutes, just like in the last episode. I am recording most of these. Look at acro bike. We're hopping. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping on his bicycle! Oh wait, this is important. What? What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? And we battle you, apparently? I don't know. Arr! I should have ducked in a hideout right away! They have a hideout? OMG! Oh, okay, okay, I admit you're strong. But don't worry about me, go wherever you want. And we go right down here, we get a burn heal. That's pretty much good for our next gym leader battle. And I'm not gonna spoil what's up ahead. Let's just keep hopping and pretend you heard nothing. Let's <laughs> just hop over the sky! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> See. Uh, I'd like to kick a mileville, but if I went down these ledges, it'd be no easy to get back to Lava Ridge. Exactly what we're going to be doing, um, jump down here, you can get a nugget. And yes, we have to go all the way back down, but that's okay, because I need to be doing something else as well, so instant teleportation, yet again, while I'm making this funny pose. <laughs> Look at me! Okay, now that we're here in Fallover Town, if we talk to this guy, who I believe is in his building, uh, talk to him and give him the meteorite back. Come on, dude, stop walking away from me! Oh, I never should have let myself be concerned to telling Team Magma where you can find the meteorites. That meteorite from Meteor Falls is never going to be mine now. Wait. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I had to get it. So, be right back. Okay, so back up here, let's actually grab what we're looking for. A meteorite has been in a mysterious machine. Do you want to remove the meteorite? No! <laughs> we want to remove the meteorite. And we obtained the meteorite. Okay, so now we go back and try it again. <laughs> this is gonna be a fail recording. Okay, back in here, let's try this again. This time with the meteorite. Uh, here's full evidence for you. Let's go into key items if I can find it. And there we go, a meteorite found from at Meteor Falls. That's total proof. All right, now let's talk to him. Oh, I should have never blah 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 blah. Do you mind where you found the meteorite? Might not. Oh, huh? That item. Could it be? Is the meteor the Team Magma took from Meteor Falls? Please, may I have it? I'm not asking it for free. Have I exchanged it for TM? No! Kidding. This TM represents my feeling of gratitude. Please use it. 
And we get TM27, which contains Return. A good move towards, um... Uh, wait, wait. Return. Um, it, I believe it's Return, right? Uh, let's take a look at it. Sorry to say, uh, it is Return. Uh, so basically what Return is, the, the more, uh, your Pokemon likes you, the higher the, uh, power it's going to be. It's a really good move towards, like, Pokemon such as, like, normal types. It gets really good stab out of it, so. Without further ado, I will see you guys back to where we actually needed to go. Okay, so we're finally back in here, and oh my god, I had to go through so much freaking trainers, and I got paralyzed so many times, but... Here we are in the Desire Town, a lava rich town. So, in the next episode, we'll be exploring a little bit of this, but uh, bef I need to heal, so this will be the only part we see a lava rich. In the next episode, as I said before, we will be exploring the rest of lava rich town and maybe taking on the gym. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? So that's about it. That's gonna wrap it up. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>